Hello there, it's Mike Mutzel. I wanna share with you some tips about how to avoid weight gain during the holiday season. Now, I wish there was just one thing that you could do that would affect your entire life and you wouldn't have to worry about weight gain. You know, the average American gains between seven and up to 15 pounds between Thanksgiving and all the holiday parties, Christmas and New Year's. But there's not just one thing, there's multiple things you can do and I'm gonna share with you just a few tips. The number one tip is reduce your carbohydrate intake. When we get carbohydrates, insulin is released. Insulin promotes lipogenesis, the formation of new fats. It promotes you know, the deposition or the storage in the form of fat from carbohydrates. So we don't wanna really spike insulin very much. So what are foods that spike insulin? The number one food that people often don't think about that spikes insulin is actually dairy. So dairy is low glycemic, but it's insulinogenic. And Lauren Cordain, who we've interviewed on episode, I think 119, uh, check iTunes, uh, it actually wasn't a video interview, he talks about this, he's the modern kind of founder and pioneer of the, of the paleo diet. I've been following his research for a while, and, and one of his early you know, kind of findings about dairy is that it spikes insulin. And that's why dairy is linked with acne and other cancers. Walter Willett, as a sidestep at Harvard University of Public Health, has, has published a lot about the link between dairy consumption, insulin, and cancer. So you need to understand that when you have dairy, yeah, it may not spike your blood sugar, but it's going to spike insulin. And remember that insulin actually suppresses hepatic or liver ketogenesis. So we wanna be making ketones. I have a little bottle of MCT oil here that I'm gonna share with you a little bit about how you can utilize MCT oil before going to holiday parties and Christmas parties and so forth. But back to insulin in the liver. So insulin is a, a major down regulator of hepatic or liver ketogenesis, the formation of ketones. We know that ketones have a huge positive effect throughout our body and how they affect the inflammatory response, appetite, they influence mitochondrial fat burning and activity, they change GABA to glutamate ratios in the brain, make you feel better, uh, they even affect contractility within the heart. There's a lot of papers on that, guys. I'm gonna share with you some research coming up and actually, if you watch to the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you some details about a short film that we started filming on. It's gonna be available in 2017. You're gonna to totally dig it. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, ketones do a lot of things and they can help you maintain your body composition and prevent that weight gain during the holiday season because they foster, you know, fat burning and, uh, and they help you have better control of your cravings and appetite and, and reduce inflammatory response and improve sympathetic tones so you don't, you're not as likely to embark on stress-induced eating. So when you're around family members that maybe remind you of the past and you want to overeat and mindlessly eat or maybe you're lonely so you want to overeat, well, when you're in a ketogenic state, you know, your, your sympathetic and parasympathetic tone will be more balanced. It will be easier to be compassionate and mindful and present and aware. So again, dairy is a big thing that a lot of people don't understand and how it uh, induces insulin release, which will in turn uh, affect your ability to get into nutritional ketosis and that could affect your ability to burn fat through the holiday season. So that's the number one thing. The number two thing that I think people kind of forget about is they reduce their activity. So the days are short, particularly compared to summer days where, you know, if you live in the Northwest or the Northern part of the country where it's light till 9 30, 10 o'clock and people are out walking and hiking, you know, and if you're in a part of a region of the country where it's really cold, you know, you're not going to be doing your normal activities and so forth. So if that applies to you where it's, it's a lot colder than you're used to, get outside and do some winter activities. So that's a great way to keep up your activity. Cross country skiing, snowshoeing, uh, hiking in the snow, downhill skiing, all these things are really wonderful ways to increase your activity. Uh, if you have not done cross country skiing, I'm a big fan of skate skiing. I started about 11 years ago. I, I just absolutely love it. It's one of the best forms of exercise because you're engaging your upper body, your core and your legs. It requires a lot of balance and you can burn you know, over a thousand calories in just a half an hour. It's not all about calorie burning, but I'm just giving you an idea. It's a very full body exercise that actually promotes muscle building and it's it's uh, aerobic at the same time. So, so definitely try that if you haven't, uh, it's wonderful. So I got off on a sidestep. Uh, you need to increase your activity during the winter, you know, and so try to get your exercise before you go to these holiday parties or Christmas parties, because once you're there, you're likely gonna have a little bit of alcohol or socialize, and it's gonna be too late to go out and exercise after. So get the exercise done beforehand. And the mentality of that is really powerful. So when we do something healthy and positive, 
or we're less likely to engage in behaviors that are incongruent with that. It's that cognitive dissonance, right? Where say you give uh, someone on the street a few dollars and then you go like steal something from someone later or do something that's rude. That creates this cognitive dissonance that humans don't like. You know, our brains like to be consistent. So if you start the day being consistent, having healthy breakfasts and healthy foods and you're exercising and, and being active, you're less likely to go smoke a cigarette and drink alcohol that night, even if you're around people that embark in that behavior, because it creates this cognitive dissonance, this incongruence. Again, so start your day off with some exercise, even if you know you're gonna be around bad food and an unhealthy uh, situation, whether it's alcohol and other temptations. The number, uh, a third tip is taking MCT oil before you're gonna go be presented with foods that have a lot of carbohydrates or are high in calorie or you don't really have a lot of control like you would in your own kitchen. Why the MCT oil? Well, the MCTs are absorbed. They don't need to be processed in the liver and they can, they can really be, they can, they're very ketogenic is, is kind of the bottom line. So they can easily be converted into ketones, beta hydroxybutyrate, acetoacetate, and so we know that ketones, again, as I mentioned earlier, have a huge effect on, guess what, on appetite and cravings and so forth. So if you can take a little bit of MCTs or just organic coconut oil, I have, by the way, no financial affiliation between this MCT lean oil. I do know the, the founder of the company, Karen Malkin. I've had her on the podcast before. She's a wonderful woman. Uh, I like this because it's in a glass bottle. There's a lot of MCT oil products on the market and they're in plastic. And to me, it tastes awful. I can taste the plastic. We know that plastic, uh, you know, the phthalates and so forth released from the plastics are endocrine disrupting chemicals that are bad for your body. You don't want to mess with that. So I really like this MCT Lean product. Check out their website, mctlean.com. Again, no financial affiliation. I know the owner, she's ethical, she's great, and it's a good product. So one to two tablespoons of MCT oil before you go out. They're ketogenic, it will help with the appetite, satiety, increase GABA, downregulate glutamate, and all that good stuff. So you guys know that. Uh, the fourth thing is really good sleep. So when we, when we don't get good sleep, and this is easy to do in the winter, I know for me personally, my sleep is always not as high quality in the winter, even though it really should be, it's dark and all that. But my theory behind this, and I'm, uh, I wrote a lot about uh, circadian rhythms and artificial light in the book, Belly Fat Effect, I'll have that in the description below this video. But I think the reason this is because when you're in a, because the days are a little bit shorter, because the days are shorter, we're exposed to more artificial light at night. You know, we're on the computer, we're watching TV, we're eating dinner and so forth. So we have all that artificial light, which is affecting the pineal gland, melatonin release, so our sleep suffers as a consequence. And when we get short, like interrupted and not quality sleep, that actually can affect leptin signaling and leptin release and appetite and cravings and your whole circadian rhythm. So a thing that I like to do, and I have other uh, videos on this guys have been making a lot of videos on circadian rhythms over the past couple of years So check check out the description I'll have some associated videos if you're interested in, in learning more about how artificial light affects melatonin and sleep But the point is is this big dipper uh, beeswax non fragrant uh, candles These are really key. So what we do in our house um, I actually have lights here while I'm making this video obviously because candles wouldn't provide enough light to light up my face for filming but these, this is a company based in Seattle where I live, and th these beeswax candles are non-soy based and they don't have these synthetic fragrances that will affect your hormones. So instead of turning on all the lights that are going to you know, affect our pineal gland and melatonin release and affect our circadian rhythms at night in our home, we have about six or eight of these beeswax uh, candles. They are a little expensive, that's the only downside. So like this one candle was about 14 bucks. I'll put a link to, to the uh, Big Dipper beeswax candles below this video, but a simple little tip like that, you know, it can really enhance your, your sleep and not perturb your body's circadian rhythm. Again, because you're probably, it's getting dark now around 5.30 p.m. So those are some strategies, those are some tips that I found helpful. And before you leave, I have a final little announcement that I wanna let you know about. We're running our winter cyber sale, which includes the autism intensive, some of my fat burning hacks, gut hormone leptin mini e-course, and also hypertrophy hacks. So if you're interested in, in really taking advantage of this three day special bundle, click the link below this video. 
it's rare that we actually run a special this massive. So it includes basically four of our top selling e-courses uh, that we've conducted over the past year and a half, all in one for 57 bucks. So if you've enjoyed these videos, these videos, if you've enjoyed the podcast, if you want to support what we're doing in this upcoming short film, definitely check out that bundle. It's going to expire Monday night at midnight Pacific Standard Time. So the link will be below that video. Now, a little bit about the autism intensive. I know some of you maybe didn't participate or weren't uh, involved uh, with that with that interview series, we had over 42 practitioner experts, people like Mark Hyman, Sid Baker. Uh, there was a lot of wonderful practitioners on there. Anat Vanyel that I just had on recently. But one show with Marco Ruggiero that was really, really powerful. So he is a NAH funded researcher, MD, PhD. He talked a lot about the ketogenic diet and gut bacteria and how that affects the brain. I think you'll really enjoy that episode with Marco. Mark Hyman is always very dynamic. Sid Baker talked a lot about parasites and using parasites and also essential oils to affect the immune system. Awesome lecture there. And in the hypertrophy hacks section, so this is an entire e-course, totally different from the autism intensive, but it's in this cyber sale bundle for this winter. We talk a lot about how to deadlift and squat properly even in your home. And so this is really important for inducing that, elevating that resting metabolic rate and stimulating those mitochondrial engines to help burn fat better. So you get access to all that for $57. So why are we making it so inexpensive? Well, it's only available for three days. So you have to act on it now. So if you're interested in learning this information, even if you don't have time to dive into it now, you're gonna have lifetime access to all these videos for just 57 bucks. So it's a screamy deal. These are videos that I have literally on my MP3 player, on my Dropbox, on my phone. So I just listen to them over and over again because there's so much information. You know, and there's a lot of health summits and online summits and podcasts out there right now, but the interview, the, the people that we brought on and interviewed, some 42 experts, uh, 38 of which are healthcare practitioners and scientists and researchers, you know, people that are at Harvard School of Public Health, Martha Herbert and, and others, you know, for example, they don't do, they don't participate in a lot of the online summits, you know, and so that's what's really unique is you're getting experts that are not really out there talking on the online space. They teach seminars to doctors and they have busy clinical practices that are very hard to pin down. So you're getting, you know, access to people that you would normally have to pay thousands of dollars to even see for an hour. So wonderful information available, 57 bucks plus a hypertrophy hacks and some information about um, balancing gut hormones and, and reducing leptin sensitivity, sorry, reducing leptin uh, resistance and improving leptin sensitivity. So a lot of great information that's available below this video. And by you taking advantage of that offer, you actually really help support this podcast, help support this YouTube channel and help support, you know, this new short film that we're working on that we've already started filming with. I, I'll tell you the details a little bit later, uh, but it's going to be very exciting. And so we're going to travel uh, North America, Europe and Australia and have uh, interviews with over 50 individuals that you're just going to really benefit from. So I'm excited to share that with you, but your support will really help us with this new project. So as always, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments for me, I'd love to hear from you. Drop them in uh, the comment bar below, and I look forward to catching you on another video down the road.